I've been playing a stupid amount of FC24, and I've played with them all. And today, I'm going to show you what is the best 99-rated team in the game. There's only one 99-rated card I haven't played with. He goes with by the name of Holland. Uh, I, I, listen, uh, look, man, I just, I'm behind everybody, okay? I haven't got there yet. I wish I have. Unfortunately, I haven't. Every time I play a weekend league game, I play against him. I'm the only one that hasn't grinded him, and I'm really sad because I wish he was a part of the team, but he's not. So I need y'all to let me know in the comments down below if Holland would definitely be in the 99 club, but I'm going to show you the best 99 rated players that I've used and remember everyone is very different because everyone plays the game very different for example I run a 4132 crazy not many people run that formation it's a rare formation but that's why I play the weekend league game because it's what I've gotten the most 20 and O's and it's what I've got the most rank ones in it's what I just enjoy I like having two strikers with kind of like a cam sentiment behind it's kind of like a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow or 4-1-2-1-2 wide it's a formation I really really enjoy anyways I have been playing around with this game so much I've played with 98 Ronaldo 99 Ronaldo Ronaldo, 99 Messi, 99 Neymar, 99 this one, nine, I've played with them all, bro. If it's on the market, I've tried it, I've used it, I've probably made a video on it, and um, I've enjoyed them. But today, I'm going to show you one of the ones that you guys should chase and go and get, because they are phenomenal, okay? And I want to start off at the center back position, because this is not only the best 99 in the, like, this is not just the 99, this is the best 99 in the entire game, period. Ladies and gentlemen, VVD. 99 rated VVD is the best 99 in the game. Like, he is game changing. And I know he's stupidly expensive. I know, like, crazy, not 9 million coins, but 9, 9 or 10 million coins, pretty much. 99 VVD is the biggest game changing card that you'll get. You can score a goal with 98 David. You can score a goal with 98 Drugba. You can score a goal with King Kenny and, 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 and uh, 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 Nico Williams and Rodman. Anyone can score a goal, bro. There's so many 96 rated cars that can left stick dribble, got five star skills, got five star weak. You could just brr, boom, bang and score. Anyone can do that, bro. Anyone can bang it into the back of the net. You really don't need a 99 rated card to score banging goals. Now, when you have the 99 rated cards, finesse shots are easy peasy um, and you can score a lot of long range bangs. Angers. But what I'm trying to explain is not any 94 rated card, 95 rated card, 96 rated card can defend the way VVD defends. VVD is the one and only, bro. He is the best center back in this game. It ain't close. He is fire. He's been fire the whole year. Every single person that played FC24 at any point of this game, whether it was September, October, whether it was January or December, whether it's right now, you know that you've played against a version of VVD that has pissed you off and made you mad. Let's be real. Whether it's the gold one, the winter, whatever. It doesn't matter, bro. If you played against the VVD, you have been pissed. And if you matched up against that team in a year one, you wanted to just rage quit the game. Let's be real. That card is clams. Well, guess what? It's all of those, but a 99, so he's on steroids. This card is wild, bro. The best 99 in the game. Now, in the goalkeeper position... I just kept it simple. This is my favorite goalie in the game. I've used check. I've used everybody. Um, I just want to clarify this. Sh shout out to all my Argentinians out there. I love you guys, but I hate this guy. I do not like this goalie, okay? I don't like him because of the way he's so cocky, but damn, he's so good, bro. I'm going to keep it honest with y'all. He's one of the best goalkeepers I've ever seen block penalties. And the success that Argentina has had lately, I know a lot of people will point the, the fingers to Messi because of how great he's been, but it's the same thing as like Ronaldo when he won the Euro. People always bring up Ether's goal and Ronaldo's goals for the group stage, but when, when Ronaldo and Portugal won the Euro, the truth is Roy Patricio was a crazy goalkeeper. Roy Patricio made saves in the France game, in the Poland, and game like mental goal that's not talked about enough right um so with that being said what i'm trying to say is martinez don't get enough credit for the the, 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 the recent success of both Copa americas the world cup he doesn't get enough success man because this guy has made saves and made plays that have won argentina competitions unbelievable goalkeeper with all that being said, lads, that's how I kick the team off. So no 99 rated in the goal. I don't even know if there is a 99 rated goalkeeper. I'm pretty sure there's not a 99 rated goalkeeper. Um, the next center back that I put beside uh, uh, VVD, it's actually Chuamane. I personally like this guy at center back. I think Ruben Diaz would probably be better than Chuamane, but I just really, really like Chuamane. Like he's, I, I have a lot of games with him, 47 games. I just really enjoy him, bro. I think he has the height. 
good play styles play styles are really important with the defenders and he has a lot of the ones i like like this jockey one i wish it was gold to be honest but the battery is really clutch he never runs out of stam uh you also have the anticipation slide tackle which doesn't really matter i don't slide that much bruiser is a really good one which he doesn't have and he also has ariel sorry i don't know how to say that word ariel every time i say ariel it sounds i feel like i'm saying the girl from like little mermaid yo her name was like ariel ariola i don't i don't know bro uh, i don't know uh vvd though man like we didn't even show his play styles look at this man he has the block he has anticipate dude he even has passing one just mental all around stud of a card bro this card is stupid um so that's what i got going on there now there is a card at left back 99 rated goes by the name of frimpong i'm pretty sure he's a left back or maybe he's a right back I, I, he could play both um i don't use him i personally used him and i thought the players i have in the positions were better so he doesn't come into the team um i have uh theo hernandez and i also have at the right back position um uh Carvajal. i just don't think that frimpong is the uh the best in the slot you does that make sense like i just I, he's a 99 rated card but i just don't think that he's the best for that slot like i i, I just i think like for example right back i would rather have walker if i'm not rocking with Carvajal, i would think walker before frimpong i i just haven't Frimpong hasn't been it for me. Maybe I'm not using him properly. Also, when I'm in the four, um, the four, one, three, two, my left back and right back are on stay back while attacking. So I'm not taking them offensively forward as much as somebody who runs the four, three, two, one. If you run the four, three, two, one, one, either your left back or your right back are on balance. And um, you have them getting forward a lot for the crosses. So with that being said, I don't have that. I don't do that personally. So since I don't do that, I, uh, I, I, you know, I just need players that can really defend really well. Frimpong must be crazy going forward. And I didn't really use him like that. So I can't really comment on him when it comes to that. You feel me? So unfortunately, um, I didn't go with another 99 in the back line, but I did go with another 99 at the right wing position. And the one I went at the right wing position is Mia Hamm. This card, dummy dummy bro this card is dummy bro this is the the girl version of r9 this is the, this is the best girl in the game like 99 mia ham is stupid and it took me forever to complete this sbc i swear it took me so long and it took me so much fodder and i emptied my club for real outside the players on the bench and the reserves um for mia ham because she's i just had to have her bro when i played with her alone i was like damn this card is dumb um her like she has crazy 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 shots bro and this right here i don't know how many of y'all are playing fc a lot but if you're playing fc a lot with 99 rated cards or 98 rated cards if they have finesse shot plus just shoot a finesse shot uh, i have a channel i'm gonna leave a link down below where i review players and in the mia ham review i i reviewed her ronaldo and i think company all together and when i was reviewing mia ham i just shot finesse shots the whole game the whole video and I, I, I scored so many finesse shots. By the way, I have six games here. I finished her loan card. Her loan card was the one I was using in the video. And the card probably had the craziest amount of goals. Be, and like I said, you can watch the video. There'll be a link down below. I have a brand new channel where I just like review cards um, and, and, and play with like different players every episode. And uh, the channel's doing really good, by the way. If any of you guys went over there, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, but yeah, lads, it, it's, it's, she's just dummy good, man. Um, the next card I'm going to have in here is actually a loan, but I have her on my Road to Glory account. Um, I got lucky enough to get her there, and I haven't bought her here yet because I've been saving up the money. A lot of my money got sunk into BVD and another 99 that's in this that I'm about to show you in this video. Uh, but the card is this one. Now, a lot of people are going to judge me for this, but it's Sawa. And the reason Sawa is in my team is because, like I said, only one game's gone here, but I play with her all the time on RTG. She was my favorite card all the way through FC in the midfield. If you watched my RTG, I know a lot of y'all probably did. Uh, the RTG um, is, if you don't know what that is, it's a road of glory. It's where you spend no money. I got her early. I forget what, maybe around Christmas or whenever the SP, her SPC came out or something, we did it. Um, she never lost her position again. I score so many goals with this card. Um, it, it, it's just ridiculous. This card is a goal scoring machine for me out of the midfield. She can intercept the ball. She's everything. She's everything you need in a midfielder. Um, she's just wild, bro. So for me, this is by far my favorite card. Now, the only card that I didn't put in this team that deserves to be in this team is Alexia Portelas, uh, the Barcelona female five-star skiller, five-star weak foot, uh, 3.6 million coins. And I want to be real with y'all. I didn't have the coins for her. Um, and it was hard for me to pick between Sawa and the next card I'm about to show you. Uh, 
uh, DePaul. I want to tell you right now that this, if it wasn't for VVD, I think would be the best number 99 card in the game. Again, a lot of people are like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Lads, this card moves. Imagine having a box-to-box -box midfielder that moves similar to like Messi and Neymar, but can defend like Vieira and Yaya Torre and can bang shots like Cristiano Ronaldo. Like this guy is the full package, bro. Like I don't really know how to explain it to y'all, but his five-star skills, the way you can left stick dribble with him, the way you can skill move, move with him, it's the best that I've ever felt in a midfielder. Um, the only one that I feel the same with is Alexia um, Portelis, the, the, the girl from Barca. She's like the only other midfielder that, by the way, Alexia Portelis is one of the best finishers I've ever used in this game. When I used her on my road to glory, and this was just her gold version, I thought she was like the best finisher that I've ever, or maybe it was her winter wild card. It was the best finish I ever used in the game. And I'm talking about like out of all the cards, like she never missed. Um, and I played her at striker. And the 99 rated card is just as dummy. Um, but it was hard for me to not go with DePaul because DePaul is probably the best midfield that I've used in this game. Um, and so it was for me when I saw Sawa and I saw DePaul and I started using them, I quickly like gravitated to those players and were like, yeah, these are the players that I want to rock with. But again, it's all personal. It's like preference, bro. You got to go with how you play the game, how you feel the game uh, should be played and how you like to play the game. Everyone's very, 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 very different. I love this badge. This play style right here for me is phenomenal. This play style for me, I love it so much. So these two just work so well. And if you see my team, a lot of the players have the same play style. I got the, the, the battery. I got, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just the ones I really, really, really like. So um, those are things that work really, really well for me. So we got four Dye 9 rated cards into the team already. And they, for me, are just amazing, amazing cards. We're not going to forget about the one and only uh, big boy Cristiano Ronaldo, okay? We're throwing Ronaldo into this team. Why? He has the finesse. He also has uh, the rapid. All around, Cristiano Ronaldo is just a very, very, very good goal scorer. And again, the finesse shot is just something that is just crazy in this game. You got a 99 rated card. You got finesse plus. You are just going to bang, 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 bang goals in. It's just the way it is. Um, the only sad thing I don't like about Cristiano Ronaldo is he has power, his power shot. And I'm going to be real with y'all. Um, I can't score him. Uh, my, my aiming so bad when I shoot one lads it, it hits the corner flag bro I suck with power shots there's so many people that are good with power shots and I literally am jealous of you guys because when someone bangs a, a power shot from outside the box and it always goes in I get so sad because I'm like man if I could just do that I would be so sick but I can't I can't do it dude I cannot do it so I'm really sad so I'm not even using Ronaldo at 100% I'm using him at 80% I use all of his other badges except for this one bro I can't use it which is so annoying now I know what you guys are gonna say you got Messi and Neymar to finish the team and the answer is actually no I don't have Messi and Neymar the reason I don't have Messi and Neymar is for two reasons um Neymar didn't do what I thought a 99 rated card for me should do. I thought Neymar's cards under him were better, um, or not better, were the same. I didn't feel this massive difference with Neymar. He created a lot of chances for me and created a lot of plays, but his stats just weren't there. I created way more stats with other Neymar cards than that 99 rated card. So at the left wing position, I ended up just going with Ginola because I felt that he gave the same if not better um than what neymar did for me so i went with ginola again the finesse trait is so clutch bro 99 place the pace the technical badge for me having both of these plus having um the first touch which i think is crazy because you could you could power pass into him he takes that first touch giving him the space and then bangs into a finesse shot so quickly you can score so many stupid amount of goals with him um but again only using him at 80 percent because again i don't know how to power shot and uh, yeah, this guy has a crazy power shot and I just don't really get him off. So um, that's the reason Neymar is not in the team because I personally think that Ginola can do what Neymar does. And I think a lower version of Neymar, like a, a version that's not his 99 card, can do what his 99 card does. So that's why he didn't make the, nine, the best 99 rated players in the game, um, in my opinion, obviously. And the last one, 
people will say, why is Messi not in there? And it's because I personally went with Samuel Eto'o. Now, let me explain before y'all get mad and before y'all freak out, because there's no way Samuel Eto'o is better than Samuel Eto'o is better than Neymar of the Messi, right? True facts, bars. You're spitting right now, but let me explain. Finesse shot again, and also quick step. Um, now you're gonna say, well, skills. Wait a minute, bud. Uh, how does that make sense? Because Messi has finesse shot, and you bring up a very good point. The difference is this: when I run the team. Right. When I run the team, I run it again in a four, uh, one, three, two. And the way the team lines up is with Cristiano Ronaldo and Eto at the striker position. I think Mia Hamm is better on the wing than Messi. If you want to have 99 Messi, he needs to be here at the this position or he needs to be at the striker position. And I thought that Eto was a better nine than Messi, if that makes sense. I wanted Messi on the wing. I thought Mia Hamm was a better winger than Messi, and I thought there's better nines than 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 Messi. Now, if I played with the cam, Messi would 1 million percent be in this team. If I played the 4-3-2-1, Messi 100% would be my left center mid on balance, bringing the ball forward for me with three strikers ahead of him, and I would cook people nasty. That's how I used him. When I had Messi and Neymar, I had to be in this formation and I don't like playing this formation. Um, I, it's not the formation I enjoy playing. That's why, as you can see, it's not even set up. If I was to run this formation now, I would probably run it something like this with Mia Hamm bringing the ball. Now, this would be Neymar here, Messi here, and then Ronaldo and Mia Hamm. But I don't run this formation and I don't like this formation. Um, I'm just bored of playing this formation. So I run this formation and because of this formation, I don't use Lionel Messi. I use Cristiano Ronaldo because he could bang in headers, he could bang it on the foot, and the person that's gonna take Eto spot is going to be 99 Holland when I eventually get him. But now I don't have him, so I don't use him. But I just enjoyed Mia Hamm more down the wings. I enjoyed Mia Hamm more in front of goal more than I did Messi. So I didn't waste the coins or spend the coins on Messi because I already had done so much on Hamm. And you guys know I had Messi probably for the last month. I loved Messi. I made so many videos on the new channel of Messi. But at the end of the day, lads, it, for me, it just wasn't. Um, it doesn't work out the way I want it to work out. And the same thing with Neymar, man. I just think that Neymar needs to be more up the field. I think the 99 Messi is wasted and the 99 Neymar is wasted this far back. So that's personally why I don't use them. These are the best 99s I have used. I think it's a phenomenal team. Um, I think you can win a lot of games with this team. Um, and I've just had a stupid amount of success. So I want you guys to get in the comments down below and let me know what you think, what players you would add. And again, in no way, shape or form, am I trying to say this is the right 99s? Um, I want you guys to let me know what's the best 99 you have used. Maybe y'all like Pedri more. Maybe y'all like Frimpong more. Maybe y'all like Alexi Porte Alexia, Alexia Portelas more. Maybe there's a card you like way more than I found on this team. But this is the best 99 rated players that I've used so far. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope it kind of like, you know, didn't rub you the wrong way. Um, but these are the best 99s I've found, man. And these are the best 99s I've had success with. So love you guys, man. I appreciate y'all. By the way, uh, this team got me uh, rank one this weekend, except for actually, no, not rank one. Uh, rank, uh, I lost two. Um, I lost two games. Um, but the, Sawa didn't play. Sawa did not play on this account. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Love you very much. And I will catch you in the next one. And as always, if you guys want to check out the other channels, I got a career mode channel and I also have the new foot channel where we review players. Those links are down below. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Pull you. We out of here. Man, I just yapped for a long time.